Hey, how's it going? And today we're just making a basic road in Lightwave. You'll also need to have Photoshop and a texture to work with. In terms of the texture, one site you might try is this one called textures.com and they have these roads and highways and I just grabbed this one. This one has a little white edge. I might crop that off, but I'm just gonna use the image as it is. So when you sign up here, they'll give you free credits and so you can download some low res images for free and that'll give you get you started on the basic idea so that's where you get your image and then what I've done is if you click D we're in modeler if you hit D on backdrop you can load in this image from texture.com like I said if you wanted to take it into Photoshop and crop out this white part you could do that and probably I would do that but I'm not going to do that for this and then we're just going to go into create and we're going to go to box. And we're just going to drag a box over the top of this thing. And one kind of cool thing about this and doing it this way is you can actually get a like a measurement. So if you hit N, we can see that this is two meters wide and one meter depth. But I know already this isn't the orientation that I want. So I'm going to just switch this around. I'm going to go one meter width and two meters depth because i uh, the road's going to be coming toward us so that image right there is just for reference so now i'm going to hit spacebar to drop the tool and actually seeing that there is kind of distracting so i'm just going to go in and get rid of that because that's bothering me now so we just use that image as a reference to size up our geometry which is just going to be a ground plane essentially a one meter by two meter ground plane. And then all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go up to UV and we're gonna go to make UV. We're gonna have the map type set to Atlas. We're gonna just leave this called texture and we're gonna go create. And you can see down on the bottom, it's been created and you can see it if you go into UV texture here. And there it is. Now, if you hit A, you can make that full size. One thing is when you're doing UV texture and you really want the the map to take up as much space in this as possible it's not really worth the extra little space i might get out of it so i'm just going to leave this but if i were going to do that i'd come over here to size and i would just size this up a little bit more and then i could hit t and reposition it because you want to get the maximum image into there that's possible and then we're done. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop the tool there, hit spacebar, and we're just gonna save object as, and I'm gonna call this road four, and then we're gonna pop over into Photoshop real fast. So here we are in Photoshop. I'm gonna go ahead and, let me see, what is this? No, okay. So this is the image that's come in from texture.com. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to open up that EPS, uh, that Rode 5 one, I think it was, right? No, did I save it out? Oh, I don't think I saved it out. Sorry about that. So I needed to go file, save, export, export, or export EPS, uh, just the texture, no draw grid, fit on page, and I'm going to call this road 6. And we'll go, okay. Now we'll pop back in over <laughs> to Sorry about that. So now we'll go open and uh, let's see road six here it is and go open and then the trick here is to put in 300 here for resolution and switch your color space to rgb and go okay so there's our thing our map and if we come over that's a different one i've been i've been playing around with some of these other ones so i'm a little okay here's our image so i'm gonna go Control A, Control C. We'll come in here and go Control B. And it's it's too big, so we hit Control T, and I can hit Control minus sign, and hit Shift to constrain this in proportion. And now I can kind of I can kind of zoom back in by hitting the plus sign. Okay, so now I'm going to just turn this thing, and if I come up here, I can just do 90 degrees. So it's accurate. And then I can just kind of scooch this in there like that. See, I could actually, in doing this, I could just leave that white part out of the image, but it'd probably be better to crop it. But I'm gonna hit shift and we're gonna, yeah, I might just leave it cropped out. 
um, but I gotta I gotta bring this whole thing in because it's a uh, it'll it, the texture is kind of designed to repeat so I want to get the whole texture in here right there and then I'll hit the I'm just hitting the arrow keys oh there we go we'll see how much of that I have left I think that's good right there okay and then what we'll do is we're just going to save this out save as or oh, apply the transformation first and uh, we'll call it road six and we'll save it as jpeg save okay then we're going to pop back over into modeler oops we can close that and then we'll go into the surface editor go to edit nodes we'll double click on the image We'll double click this we're going to go ahead and load up that road six that we just did road six open there it is and we'll do the mapping to uv map texture close color to color and there it is you can see it right there okay so this is kind of the grunt work of the whole thing of just getting your texture onto a geometry and that's done so now we're going to just save all objects and then we're just going to send this over to layout now this picks up where the mark warner tutorial is so all you got to do here is we're going to come to items we're going to make a null we're going to go okay and basically what we're doing is we're creating a motion path. So now we'll just go out to the 10th frame here. And we already know this is two meters. So we want this thing, it's gonna be on the negative Z here. So this is gonna be negative two meters. And then let me zoom out here a little bit. And then we'll drag this to 20. We will just want everything to be nice and even. So our tiles line up real. And then we'll go negative, uh, negative four. All right, negative four. And then we'll go another one here. Just going in increments of two meters, negative six. And we'll just do a couple more of these. Go to 40, we'll go to negative eight. And then we're gonna go to negative 10. Negative 10 like that, okay. Now I'm just gonna reposition myself here so we can see the whole road. Get myself in an angle here. Okay, so then once that's done, I can drag the playhead back to the beginning. I can go to properties. I can go to the instancer tab. Click on instance generator, double click this. Click add object and it's gonna be, I don't know why it says road four, but uh, Okay, I thought it was road six, but maybe that was just a surface. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll click on this and I'll go to motion path and we're gonna add, let's say five instances of the road and we click off lock motion to time, follow motion object. And then all we have to do, and we might have to get ourselves in a little bit better position here, is we've got to, oh here, we can change this to texture shaded. We just need to separate the, the tiles out. And you gotta kinda watch it, see where they come apart there, and just get them until they're, there's no snapping on this thing. So you just gotta kinda eyeball it. This to be about 4.17. So what we can do now is let me match my perspective to camera, and then let me switch to camera. And then let me go to VPR. Now let's take a look at this. Let me go back into perspective for a second. I want to get a little bit better angle on this thing. I want to really, so you can take a good look at it. Okay, let's match that up. And then let's go to camera view. And that looks pretty good. These are actually a part of the image. So that's nothing. I'm not really seeing any seams here. Let me turn off uh, the backdrop. I do see something right there. But you know how roads are built? You know, you see lines in them, but I, I think that's coming from the, the separator. So let me do, what I might do here is just do numbers. There we go. 
1.16. Perfect. That looks good. I mean, it looks like a road. <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot of functionality to this. I have to play around with getting the road to curve, and I haven't done that yet. So I'm just getting the basics of just a, a road, which has all sorts of utility in 3D for cars, automobiles, and I think it's pretty photorealistic. So this is a nice looking road. So anyway, that's all I had for today. The only thing I might do is crop this off and then I would just resize my geometry so that, um, you know, whatever that extra white part is, but it's not the end of the world to have it on there for right now. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.